Yeah, I understand. Red One, good morning. Or good evening. I'm sorry, I'm used to a morning show. Good evening to you, uh, Red One. So uh, my question to you then is, as of those numbers I just rattled off, it all seems to be coming down, but we're still concerned about a third wave. Good evening. Why is that? Good evening, Gareth. Um, indeed, all of the indicators are looking very promising, uh, the leading indicators being the number of confirmed cases as well as the test positivity rate um, have declined. Um, in fact, uh, the number of new cases, the seven-day average across the country currently sits below 1,000 um, and the test positivity rate below 4%, both at the lowest uh, that they've been since May 2020. However, the concern is that with the easing of restrictions recently, as, as well as the increase increased gatherings over the current holiday period, um, we don't know what if effect this will have on the infection rates mm. uh, because of the incubation period as well as the lag uh, to testing and the reporting thereof. We'll need to wait 10 to 14 days to see if this will have any effect on the infection rates. The concern is that there still is ongoing transmission. Um, there have been recent spikes across all nine provinces. They have stabilized, however, but there is ongoing transmission and we do need to uh, maintain our vigilance and not let our guard down. There's been so many critics, haven't there, Suleiman uh, Ridwan, who were saying that uh, opening or, or not shutting down the provincial borders for the Easter weekend, knowing that churches are going to have a lot of people, people are going to go and see their families, knowing there was a third wave coming. Uh, this was almost uh, two steps forward and three steps back was some of the criticism. And it seems to echo what you're saying. We've done a lot of hard work to get the numbers down and now we may have a spike in infections again. Look, it's not guaranteed that we will have a spike. I think uh, given, if you look at the data over the last year, um, we saw two surges um, and the expectation is that um, after three months emerging from the second wave, uh, we're likely to see another surge in the winter months of May and June. Uh, so I think the concern is to try and uh, limit the conditions for any super spreading events and any cluster outbreaks and be proactive in minimizing any outbreaks. Um, we hope that this won't trigger any, any outbreaks or, or trigger a third wave. Uh, look, while the numbers are still manageable and still low, um, I think we can still uh, put in uh, measures and steps to overcome any outbreaks. We do need to sustain this momentum um, and try and continue this, this decline. Of course, the lower we go, the better we will be in managing any outbreaks in any possible third wave. Yeah, I'm sure many people would agree. Try and limit uh, uh, any kind of risks we're putting ourselves at. I do want to ask a final question to you, Red One, if you don't mind. Uh, you mentioned that uh, we're heading into the winter months. Uh, last year, when none of us knew about COVID, there was talk of it possibly being a, uh, a seasonal virus. It'll be worse during winter. We are now going into winter. Uh, do we know if there is any correlation between the season and COVID-19? Look, I think the, the recent second wave and surge that we saw over December, uh, over December and January kind of put that theory to, to rest. Um, we weren't expecting that surge over the summer months, um, and so um, that happened. Of course, it's dependent on, on um, compliance to non-pharmaceutical interventions as well as mobility, but also dependent on whether the virus will mutate. Um, and we are seeing, if we look um, across uh, the world, we're seeing uh, resurgence in third wave in continental Europe, um, and our trajectory has followed those, so it still remains a concern. Um, so our focus has to be on reducing transmission and limiting the conditions uh, for the virus to spread, and particularly to limit the conditions for the virus to mutate. And I, couldn't, uh, I don't think anybody would disagree with you. Ridwan, thank you very much uh, indeed for speaking uh, to us uh, tonight. Uh, Ridwan Suleiman, Senior Researcher at the CSIR. Uh, still fears of a third wave of infections in the coming weeks, uh, but the numbers are down for the moment. But as Ridwan says, uh, we are far, far away from being on top of COVID-19.